Israel was rebirthed in 1948. They gained possession of Israel, but they did not have possession of Jerusalem. They did not get possession of Jerusalem until uh, 1967, 19 years later. So if you look in 2 Kings in your Bible, chapter 25, verse 8, you will see where it says that in the 19th year of Nebuchadnezzar's rule, that he went back and he burnt down the temple. I'm going to read it for you. On the seventh day of the fifth month, in the 19th year of Nebuchadnezzar, of Nebuchadnezzar, commander of the imperial guard and the official of the king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem. He set fire to the temple of the Lord, the royal palace, and all the house at Jerusalem. Every important building he burnt down. The whole uh, Babylonian army under the commander of the imperial guard broke down the walls of Jerusalem. So, Israel is Judah, and they fall 19 years apart. The temple is destroyed 19 years apart. From May 14, 1948, to June 1967 is how many years? 19. So God not only destroyed Israel 19 years apart, but he also brought them back into existence on this planet 19 years apart. We have these studies available for you, or I can come to your church and teach it to you, but somehow we're going to have to get this information to the people so that they are ready to understand what God is doing. 1948. Now, in a study that I did, which God had me count back all of the years in the Bible, from Adam all the way to 2017, 6,000 6, years. In this study, as I'm counting from Adam, I continue to count when I get to the birth of Abraham, it is the 1948th year of man's existence. So 1948, after the first Adam, we get the birth of the father of Israel, which is Abraham, in the 1948th year of man's existence. Well, who does the scripture say that the second Adam is? The second Adam is Jesus Christ. So from the birth of Jesus Christ to 1948, May 14, if you want to get specific, we have the birth of the nation of Israel. And Christ says that when you see this fig tree, when you see it birthed back onto the planet, know that this is the last generation. So we are counting down and we are waiting to see Christ. Will you be ready? Will your church be ready? Let's go back to the book of Matthew. Chapter 24. Well, I mean, chapter 25. Let's go there. Now, we have this parable of ten virgins. These ten virgins says, at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps, but did not take any oil with them. But the wise, however, took oil in their jar along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, a cry rang out, Here the, here's the bridegroom. Come and meet with him. All the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, give us some of your oil. Our lamps have gone out. No, they replied. There may not be enough for both you and us. Instead, go to those who sell and buy and buy for yourself. But while they were gone on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in. With the, with the wedding banquet, 
and the door was shut. Later, those who were faking Christianity came back and said, later, it says, later the others came and said, sir, sir, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I do not know you. Therefore, keep watch, watch, watch. If 666 is on your barcode, you should know about that. If we're living in the end times, you should know about that. Don't get caught up in this in this teaching that no one knows the day or the hour. So therefore, I do not have to watch. You need to watch and know what Satan is doing, because Christ expects you to know what season we're in. There's not one of you out there that if you saw Christmas lights on the tree, you would you would know that it's Christmas. Well, here you have a tsunami. You have 911. You have Katrina. You have all of these events happening in the world as a warning to you. And yet the church is still playing church. Get your blessing. It's your time. Get your season. It's your favor. Get your breakthrough. Come on. Let's get with it. Let's learn what God is doing. Three years left at the most before Christ returns and takes his bride out of this church. You may only have one year, days, months, year. You better know one thing. You are in short time. God bless you. I hope this study uh, causes you to get in contact with us so that you can get the rest of the studies and study for yourself and be ready for the wedding feast. God bless you. Sometimes I'm losing my mind Due to all this sin in this world At the end of my time You can see the evil and wickedness all in their eyes Cause on the real You don't want to be here Especially after the rapture